Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to have some fun with um, our little mouse house right here. And this is the flower shower uh, set. There is a bundle of mouse house uh, for this month of April, which is absolutely too cute if you love these little mice. And I have grown to absolutely love them. We're going to do a little water coloring today. So I'm going to use my um, distress pencils and then my uh, sparkly watercolor right here, the opalescence from Yasumoto. Uh, these are extremely inexpensive. They're only $8.66 if you want to try them. This is a really good set to start with. And like I said, they're opalescent, so that's a lot of fun. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders and other companies. There are links below for you to click on. When you do that and place an order, I receive a small commission. That's at no cost to you. And thank you so much for um, supporting me. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go first. What we want to do, I want to show you this, what I did. I love um, this glitter cardstock that Spellbinder sent me. How pretty. But look, I cut the inside of it out because I didn't want to use the entire sheet. So I cut it at um, five and a half by four and a quarter. Then I took a rectangle die and I cut the center of it out so that I could use that for other uh, projects. And then here's my watercolor paper. What size did I cut this at? Um, this is a five by three and three quarter and it will fit right here and you'll never know that I cut that out. Isn't that wonderful? That's a great way to save paper or you could cut any kind of a shape out from the inside but you kind of want to do that so that because you really don't need that entire piece okay you just kind of need a frame of it okay. Let's go ahead and um, attach this to our project to our card base. The card base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Um, I use Nina White cardstock. I get it on Amazon. That's also linked below for you. And let's go ahead and add a little bit of glue here. And put it on our card front. I hope you guys are doing well with all of these pretty April releases. Remember, if you are a member of the club, now they do an early release for club members. If you uh, do any kind of a club through Spellbinders, let me make sure that I've got, oh, I was upside down there, right? <laughs> that happens. Not that it would matter putting this on, but it would matter putting my image on. Okay, so here's this, okay, just like that. So they do an early release a day early for club members and I post that over on my Facebook page. Uh, I do all the advertising on my Facebook page. I don't have 10,000 subscribers yet so it's hard to advertise on uh, YouTube. So, uh, But that's where I do all of that type of advertising. So you'll want to follow me there. There's a link below for that. Just click on it and follow me on that Facebook page. I'm going to take these wonderful Distress Watercolors uh, pencils. I absolutely love this. This is set number six. I got it at scrapbook.com. I'm going to use a Mini Misty also. The black one is back in stock at scrapbook.com. I want to say that before I forget. And I'm just going to use a blue and then my green right here. And watch what I'm going to do here to make this background. I'm going to take my blue pencil and I'm just going to scribble. You can make it as light or as dark as you want. And remember, every time you do this, it's going to come out a little bit different. So I'm just going to do that about two-thirds of the way down. Then I'm going to take my green, come down into here. right there okay just those two pencils put those away and now I've got a big brush here I'm gonna take some water I guess I could like spray this but I'm afraid that it will like um, travel into itself too much so I'm gonna put some water right there I'm gonna take my large brush into the water and I'm just going to swipe back and forth into the blue and again I am using some just some watercolor paper that I had in my craft room just like that 
I'm going to get a towel, kind of clean that off a little bit, go back into the water, and come into the green. So I've made a sky and grass. That simple. With those uh, watercolor pencils. Just like that. Easy peasy, right? Easy easy. I'm not a complicated crafter, I don't think. I try to make things as simple as I can. All right, I've got my brush cleaned. I'll put that one away. And now I'm going to let this dry and I'll be right back and we're going to do some uh, stamp. Well, let's just go ahead and set this kind of up in my Misty. See how the paper is curling a little bit? That happens when it gets wet. That's no big deal. We're going to use Happy Spring on this. And I think these little mice are so stinking cute, right? So here we go, right there. I'm just going to set it up. I'm not going to stamp it yet because my paper is wet. Just like that. And when you use a rubber stamp like this that already has padding, you need to take the inside out, okay? Because then the door will shut all the way. All right, I'll be back in a minute and we will continue. Okay, um, my paper is dry now and I'm going to just use some black ink. I still use this Tuxedo Memento Black. You could use a Versamark Black. Whatever you like. But we are going to watercolor, so you want an ink that can handle that. I'll, if I can find that black um, Versamark, I'll list it below for you. I'm pretty sure I can. And let me use my little tool here. There we go. This is the greatest thing about a positioning tool, especially the Misty. Just stamp it again when it's not, you know, crisp enough and you're in the right place. That's what's fantastic. Let's make sure I've got all my ink off. This little guy down here. I think we're good. I like it. Okay, let's do, let's remove this and let's do Happy Spring right here in this corner. Just right there. Hopefully we'll get that straight just like that. Looks good to me. And we'll stamp. And one more time I think just to make it a little bit bolder. Nice. You don't want to stamp it too much because you could get it, you know, like a blob. And you don't want that. So just as crisp as you can get it, and that's perfect. These little round magnets don't come with the mist either from another tool that I have. And I just needed more magnets, so I just use those also over here. And then I use it on my other tool. Also, I have a positioning device from... What is it? Uh, we are memory keepers, I believe it is. So I just, there we go, just like that. Put these aside. Okay, now let's go ahead and start to color. Now these little guys are just as sweet as can be. Yeah, all mouse house is just as cute as could be. I'm just going to take a little squirt of water here and we're going to do a little water coloring. And I am new to watercoloring. I'll probably say that for a while, that I am new to watercoloring. Um, I'm going to use this purple right over here to do my flowers. So I'm going to take a little bit of water and into that color. And like these little palettes, they're hard. So that when you put the water to it, then it makes the ink. And then I'm just going to color these little flowers here. And a little goes a long way. I have found a love for watercoloring, which I'm shocked. Because it does take a little bit of time. But look at how pretty that looks. And it's going to have that shine because of these, this paint. 
and I never really thought that I would have a love for watercoloring but when um, the better press came out and I started to watercolor I was like wait I love doing this I, I'm sh I was shocked myself you know uh, so try it you know it might be something you like might be something that you don't like you never know but these uh, this ink palette right here is very inexpensive and uh, that's why that I had ordered it I was like well I don't want to put a whole lot of money in something that you know I don't really know if I'm going to love and so I felt like this was the best way to go a little water get that a little going a little bit there I also found some of my daughters watercolors this is so hilarious from 30 years ago that are still usable I was like you have got to be kidding me these inks are still soft now many of them were hard as rocks and of course I threw those away um, but I thought well you know not to have that much of an investment in this yet uh, I was going to use them and they've worked out great I, I laugh every time I use them. I'm like, I can't believe she was using this when she was 10. And she is 41. So, 31 years ago. Look at how fast this is coming. And look at that little bit of shine. See, it's drying and then you get that opalescence. Just a little bit more. And all these flowers that come down around this little teeny tiny mouse is really cute. And something about watercoloring is that it does not have to be perfect. There's something about it that when it kind of bleeds out that it even makes it look that much better. I'm just going to get these little guys in here. I watch a lot of videos about watercoloring and I'm always like, well now I can improve on this and I can improve on that and I'm not one to uh, leave a lot of white space, I'll say that. So that is a challenge for me to leave white space. There's a flower here. As you can see, with this one, I'm coloring everything in. So. And you know, you might want to do your mice a different way. But I, I'm trying to show in these videos just different ways to color with this collection. There's a flower here, and there's one here. There we go. And there's a flower here. And one teeny tiny one there. Look at how far that went that it was on my brush. Very, very stinking cute. Really, really adorable. So then I just wash my brush off in my water. And I just take my cloth, clean it up, add more water when I'm going to change color. That's what's really nice about um, doing something like this because it's it's an easy transition. Now let's do um, let's do our greenery, and I think I'm going to use this one up here, this green up here on this one, just because it's very green. And I'm going to come in here and just kind of color this up. You can always add more color, okay? Just by grabbing some more paint. Not any more water, just grab some more paint and then you can just make it a little bit darker, this whole bundle in here. I think there's a little paw right in there. Get it trying to get between my flowers there a little bit. See how I do here. 
These are little. The little twigs. Let's see. I kind of like to hold it up here to the camera because then I can look through and see where I'm at. That's nice. And you don't need much. There we go. I think we're good to go with that. Go over here just a little bit more. Okay. All right, and clean it up. And let's see. Let's use this little pink for its face and ears. And, you know, I have a background on here, so, you know, the, the colors might change just a little bit. But that's okay. Still cute. So we'll do his little face. And we have sparkly mice. Little hands. They're not hands, they're paws. <laughs> cute. It's a little tail. feet. Pause. I guess they are feet. Okay, now take a look at that. It almost gives it like a silvery look. Cute. This little paw. It's a little happy face. But with our background green, it's kind of making this ink interact a little bit. I think we're good on that. Fast process, right? Let's go ahead and I want to do its little nose here in my favorite pink right up here. You can see it's my favorite pink. I'm already to the bottom, right? <laughs> so, I want to do its little tongue. And then it's little nose right there and that and that will dry and then it'll dry a little darker and let's see let me get some of that off of there let's do it's little ear right here and we'll make this a little bit darker in the ear on this guy I didn't do that on my other card and I looked and I was like let me just go ahead and shade that just a little bit in the ears okay just like that. They're coming out so sweet. Okay, now I want to do the body of the mice. And I'm going to use, let's see, what color did I use? I think I used this brown over here. You know, I was saying in another video, I make my cards and I post them for spellbinders. And then I come back and I get my videos done. Sometimes I do a video, a card in a video, but I find it best to get my designing done. Yeah, that's going to look nice. We're going to have little brown little Mises here. Um, now, the fur that kind of sticks out, I don't color that at all, okay? So I stay within the body of, this, of the mice. Right up here. And I just let that little black just kind of hang out of his fur. Just like that. Oh my goodness. 
I'm not adding any much more water. Don't really need to. Come up around this little guy and we're almost done with this card. We're going to put it together. I appreciate you hanging in here watching me color. Look at that. Oh my goodness. These little mice are so stinking cute. I just think they're just, I, I love Mouse House. I'm getting a really nice collection of, um, of stamps from Mouse House, so I really appreciate that. Okay, there we go. And now, due to the fact that this is glittery, I'm going to use my um, Spellbinders inline adhesive for this card because of the, the wet glue. It sticks, but it takes a hot minute uh, to dry, and I really think that the inline does better on a glittery surface. So I'm going to place this right there at that edge. I love this inline glue. It's so smooth. When you roll it, it's like, wow. I'm just going to come down there in the middle. Okay. I had gotten a, a sample pack of this with the foam dots, uh, the foam adhesive squares, and I just loved it. I wanted to try it, so I tried the sample pack. It really, uh, and I am hooked on this. So here this is, just like that. Let's go ahead and let's see, what have I got? I've got some stones left here. We'll use these. I'm trying to use these up. I'll post some crystal mix though for you. That's my favorite. I just ordered um, four packs of crystal mix uh, yesterday, actually, because it is my favorite and I don't want to run out. Three there, and we'll get a medium right here, and a small. Always using odd numbers, right? Here is our card for today for this cute little mouse house collection and it is called flower shower as you can see it is a shower of flowers and using some opalescence watercolor i think that came out pretty cool everything is is uh, sparkly with this card the background and the mice and the flowers everything well i should say the mat is sparkly not the background here but came out really cute thanks again for watching i'll see you next time